Hey everybody, this is Buddy. Well, I'm back at the uh, Falmouth Community Rec Center. Kimani Marley was the one that was uh, fixing this place up. How, did I say his name right? Kimani? Kimani? Kimani Marley. Kimani Marley. Yeah. He's one he cool guy. I like his music. Yeah. He's got he's got it uh, so this place wouldn't run it. Nobody was here doing this. But now he fixed all that up, fixed the building up. People starting to come. Are these teams from out of town? Are they the dark color, black. They're from out of town. In town. Okay. The white ones are from another place. Cool. And the referee is in the yellow. He's a roster. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you want, a roster man being a referee. Hey. That's cool. So y'all happy that he fixed it up? We're not finished yet. Our stand is way middle over there, like we can. Oh, like okay, those. so he's going to go over there and cut them trees down? It'll be three fields. Like, no, stands. Stands like that. They're over there. They ain't there yet. Okay. This field soon started. It was just through there. Mm-hmm. Building up the field and fixing up the field. Through the pitch patch like these. Yeah. They, they make grass grow. Mm-hmm. They didn't take out the bad grass. I noticed that... Uh, they were cutting the grass with one push mower. They don't have a riding mower. Like one push? No, a ride. You sit on it, ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. They cut on the fence. Yeah, because that grass looks way better than this. That's number one field. Eventually, he'll have this field looking good. It just takes a while to grow. That's a young superstar right there, ain't it? <laughs> Marley, Kimani Marley. Kimani Marley is a son of the soil of Falmouth. What motivates me first is that I am from this little this little country town here. You know what I mean? I was born this hospital behind us, Falmouth Public Hospital. Raised in a modest little home down the street here, 26 Carnival Street. And as a youth, and as a youth I can remember, you know, my, my the first order of my day if it, if I wasn't going to school was to wake up pick up my ball and head straight to the centre. <clears throat> so, you know, a lot of people may not know, but football has always been my first love. You know what I mean? My, my, my passion um, since childhood. Growing up for me, singing was the furthest thing from my mind. You know what I mean? Growing up for me, it was all about the sport. It was all about football. Why I decided to start Falmouth United is because we know that at one point, you know, the village had a very village united was here, which was a very strong team, and we know that for some time now, the team is no longer. So for me, I wanted to be able to bring back, you know, that that to 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 to, to rebuild a community, not only through sports, but 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 rebuild the infrastructure both socially, academically, and through sports. Um, so it was important for me to, 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 to develop Falmouth United to be able to give back that opportunity to be able to, 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 able to, to, to nourish some youth, to be able to, ex, to expose some talent that some children might not even know so them have. You know, and it doesn't, it starts for me at football but it doesn't end at football. And I tell my family all the time and even ones and ones me know. This is for me, I don't know if they can explain it. but. Jamaica in whole, right? But this particular place is, is a place where when we step on them soil, yeah, it speaks to me. You know what I mean? And I can relate. So me and this, me and this earth, me and this ground, we, we, we have this relationship and this conversation where once we touch the soil, I know I'm home. You know what I mean? No matter what is going on around me. There is something about once I touch this soil, there is a, there is a vibration, there is a connection that, that makes me whole. And, you know, and that is it. Former national player Casper Jasper Williams is another stakeholder of Falmouth United. We have got a lot of teams in Trelawney. We had several teams in Falmouth in the past. Now having a team, Falmouth United, uniting all eras in, in this particular community is going to make it much better for Trelawney itself. There's a aim, there's a mission 
for this parish to rise again in Jamaica in terms of football and we are hoping that this team coming together, this organization putting things in place should be stepping stone of Trelawney going back on the map in football. We have players um, from the past club, you know, that has turned over to this new organization that will be a part of the setup. There are players from other clubs that were invited to a trials you know, and, and, and a few were selected. So um, we might not be totally in numbers that we would be needing to complete the season, but we have enough that can start the season and hopefully by the next window, if we need two or three players, we'll be able to get them. It doesn't matter which club, people in Trelawney cheer for. Right, Forward. And the stakeholders of Falmouth United are not only about building football but developing the facility at the Ellison Wakeland Centre. Earlier this year, Centre Circle carried the story of the deplorable condition of the centre. This centre is where my mother Anita Bell Nevis used to train um, before coming uh, the Caribbean table tennis champion and then after that so as a child too I remember leaving from my home and also coming here to this building to watch my mother practice so this 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 facility this town you know what I mean Falmo Trelawney it, it, it is very close to my heart the goal for me you know, is to start something at, at, at such a level that the community and the people around we we'll want to see this to continue. So that means uh, when, when, when it's no longer me, whoever else pick up this, 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 this work, we we'll want to see it continue and continue at a high level. And not to where, not to how I came and, and, and saw the conditions of this building, which for me was very disheartening. It's a passion for me that I came and out of my pocket, you know, <laughs> out of my own pocket, <laughs> um, decided to take on this mission, not for me, but for a community. And, and, and being that I'm in a position that I can take on this project and, and, and rally the troops around me to support me on this project, you know, I figure the best way to start is to spearhead it by myself so, so people see that, okay, I'm serious about why I'm saying because I'm starting out of my own pocket already. So that, that is it. A lot of people see me as Marley, which is, what, is who I am and what I am. But for me, there was a point of my life where I grew up knowing what it is to, to not have, you know what I mean? So I've been able to enjoy both sides of the kind, the not having <laughs> and the being able to have, you know what I mean? And I remember as a youth, and we see it now, a lot of these youth have 
such great talents and ability and just need that little bit of encouragement, that little bit of lead way, that little bit of opportunity to be able to express that. And you know, once again, I would love to be able to do as much as I can in, in, in being able to give these youths the chance. I am extremely happy that somebody has decided that, look, we're going to fix the place. The place is to be fixed. And now, having had the place fixed, the municipal corporation can then sort out how it's going to be managed. Well, what I want to, to, to portray to these youths is that, you know what I mean, first of all, all hope is not lost. You know what I mean? Here I am being in a position to be able to give back. And the only thing I want out of a community is that for them to know that, yes, I am doing this, but this is for us. This is not for me. This is not for you. This is for us and collectively. So this is our home. So what I want is that we take care of our home both here and at home as it should be taken care of. That sports number one over there? Yeah. This is number two. Yeah. 